Star Wars Battlefront 2 on Steam Deck. Yes, that's correct. It runs absolutely fantastically on high settings, 60 frames per second, not an issue here. However, you might have an issue the second time that you run the game rather than the first, so stick around towards the end to figure out what that's about and how to fix it. Diving into the modes though, it is also worth noting that the first time in, I did have an issue with connection where it said can't connect even if you press the connect button. Don't be disheartened, give it a minute or so or just hit the quick play and it seems to then connect and is no longer an issue from that point forward. As you can see here, this is some command post co-op gameplay and I'll go into some Galactic Conquest as well in a minute. Although we do dip into the 50s occasionally, high settings with DirectX 11 is a huge plus here. Looks absolutely fantastic, responsiveness is perfect and although we do get that occasional dip under 60 frames per second, it's really not so noticeable. So as you can see here, this is some Galactic Conquest gameplay, so all of the modes are working. However, I did dive into this fairly late in the game and kept getting taken out by flying objects. So as you can see, not the greatest on my class abilities and being quite late in the game, it was a bit of a disadvantage and also getting used to the kick of the guns. Overall though, it does play absolutely fantastically and is worth diving into. This was the Steam version, although I did also try the Origin version as well, and that also worked perfectly fine. However, the fix that I'm about to show you for the second launch is valid for both of them. So if you do launch the game the second time and it just hangs at the helmet section and then just crashes out, this is because you turned on DirectX 12 or had DirectX 12 enabled the first time you launched. So to disable that, you need to switch to desktop mode, find the install folder. If it's the Steam version, I've put the full path on the description here. If it's the Origin version, you will need to also hunt that down as that will differ depending on the version. You then need to download Notepad QQ from the Discover app as this will enable you to edit the boot any final as you can see on the screen here. You may also want to download the quick menu add-in for Notepad QQ as this gives a nice context menu for text editing in general and it's called Notepad QQ open with the service menu which you can see at the bottom of the discover screen there. So once that's installed click the boot options and open with Notepad QQ and then you want to change the top option here from that says GST render dot enable DX12 and change that from 1 to 0. So for some reason there is an issue with DirectX 12 on Star Wars Battlefront 2 which then crashes it on startup when it tries to optimize shaders and this is the only way around it. So once you've done that save it and launch Battlefront 2 again. So I stayed in desktop mode here just for ease and then go into the game option straight away in the game go down to enable DirectX 12 under graphics settings and turn that off. You will need to restart the game so at this point you can now switch back to game mode. So I allowed it to do the restart and then I just stopped the launch. Switch back to game mode and now you can play happily as long as you don't turn DirectX 12 back on. There you go, there's some Star Wars Battlefront 2 gameplay and how to fix the issue if you get stuck on launch. Let us know in the comments below if there's a game that you are on the lookout for and want us to try. If it's in our library, we'll give it a go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Steam Deck. And we will see you next time.